Hello everyone, Mr. Emerald here. This will be a review video of the Hot Toys Iron Man 3 Mark 35 Red Snapper 1-6 scale collectible figure. Uh, this is the Power Pose series. PPS02 is the model number. And uh, let's go ahead and turn this, turn on all his LEDs. Get them lit up here. Show them off. Uh, I like about this figure um, is the uh, sturdiness of it. You can set it down easily without having any uh, real concern about how careful you need to be. Now a lot of that I think had to do with initial design uh, at the studios when they created him, but um, uh, Hot Toys definitely uh, worked hard to make sure that this piece stayed along the lines of that collection um, regards to how they designed the uh, figures. Um, what I don't like though is I don't like the PPS uh, portion of it. That, for some reason I don't know why Hot Toys decided they wanted to make a couple of figures that wouldn't be in their movie masterpiece series line but in the Power Pose series line and they wouldn't be articulated. The first one, the PPS-01, was the uh, Iron Man Mark 42 and it was essentially just a statue. You could remove I think the leg and put it from a standing leg to a bent leg or something on that line. Uh, it wasn't um, a very impressive piece at all. It definitely wasn't a figure as far as an action figure goes, which is really what these pieces are. Um, this piece, they did away with the waist movement, and on top of that, they locked it into a turned position. And I'm kind of disappointed about that, but uh, as I said earlier in a uh, different video, there are video videos out there of how to change that. Well, not how to change that, but there's a fellow who did change that, which inspires you, if you feel so inclined, to do the same thing and to replace that with actual metal pieces that work. Because, you know, they have these pieces that work, but like this back here in the, the, the back of his knee, it goes up and down with his knee. Uh, it's not a double jointed knee, it's a single jointed knee. So they, they do have the moving um, hydraulics, but, uh, you know, his elbow doesn't bend. There's another piece that they did away with. These don't go in and out. And on that video, the, the fella did make those changes to these pieces by replacing them with metal uh, pieces and looked really good. Um, but I, I, uh, I, again, I do like the, uh, the sturdiness of him. You can literally just set him down and he will stand without taking too much effort. Now, uh, some of the other pieces back there, you really have to f mess with them a bit to get their feet just rocked if you're just gonna stand them up. They pretty much require the uh, flight stands, uh, the flight rods or posing sticks or whatever you want to call them specifically whereas this one works just fine without it and and on top of that I don't much care for this flight stick I mean I would guess I would be upset if they didn't have the capability of posing him into a flight mode but his waist is so much larger than the other pieces that you can't use their traditional dynamic stand pose you have to use this and um, once you get it in there where it fits into his thighs it, it just busts it rubs right up in there so you can't um, really you know get it get it to so it's not you can't get a thighs any closer than that so his flight he he's he's just out like that in in, in his flight pose uh, i mean there's really no way to get it any other way around that and uh, that i think was just poor design unless you can have him fly like that i suppose you could do that with him and use that as his flight pose but uh, I just think it's uh, uh, was not thought out very well in that regards. Um, I uh, also don't like that. Uh, again, it's the Power Pose series, so it's, what can you expect? Uh, I don't like the hands. They do rotate, but um, come on, give me a break. They could have done a little bit more with this piece. I don't know why they they decided to go that direction. Um, uh, and and I'm a completist. Make every piece. Make them all. I want to see all the armors. I want to see the Mark 8, the 9, the 10, the 11, the 12, the 13, the 14. I want them all. I I, uh, I don't care if they're an exact duplicate. Yeah, I don't care if the Mark 30 is an exact duplicate of the Mark 33. Give me a blue and silver one. I don't care if the Mark 24 is an exact duplicate of the Mark 17. Give me a give me a repainted one. Um, the 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 Mark 28 is is a uh, mixture of the 35 and the 17 and the uh, uh, the I believe the 7 and the 33 uh, mix them all up the mark 21 uh, excuse me no the mark the, the 
Python, the Mark 20, the Mark Python. They did a great job with that. The bottom of the Mark 20 is the Mark 17, and the top of it is a Mark 7. Two of my favorite pieces, the, the Mark 17, I love the Mark 17, and the Mark 7 is, is oh my god, this is such a, a popular piece, it's not even funny. You take those two pieces together, you made a Mark 20, the Mark 20 is a success, people love that piece. I think there's a, a, a Mark 9, I don't remember which one now, is, is pretty much a, an exact duplicate of the Mark 20, I don't remember now, uh, I have to look at them again, but gosh, get, make them all. For, for instance, like the Iron Legions just, just came out. They showed the number three as the uh, the pre-release. I, uh, I haven't put a video up of that yet. They showed the number one at the show, and, and and I'm all for that. Make one through five. Make them all. And don't care what the haters say when they say, oh, you're just milking us for money. Nobody's making them spend the money. If they don't want to spend it, don't spend it. How much more truly does it cost for you to, to paint them and sell them? Pre, you, they're, they're done on pre-orders anyhow. So um, it's not like you're going to lose any money. You paint one up, you stick it out there, you see what people say, they're going to pre-order or not. I mean, I, I don't mean to be turning this into a ramble, but I guess the, the, the Mark 35 disappoints me in, in, in the manner of which they chose to, to put it out. I, I, I guess I suppose... I'm happy that he did put it out instead of not putting it out. It seems some people are, are scared that they're not going to be releasing the other figures. And, and that would be a shame. That would be an absolute shame if they uh, didn't make the others or if they required it all, uh, only to be done by uh, secondary customizers in, in that regard. That would be a shame, in my opinion, to pass up on that opportunity. So I didn't mean to turn this into a rambling on about which figures should be or shouldn't be or or why they're doing this or why they're doing that. I'm, I'm happy for all of them. I think it's great. And uh, there's a lot of people out here that are completists and they will buy every one that's made no matter what. And uh, if you're using parts that you've already got made, that's half of the manufacturing process down the tube. You don't even have to worry about that. The pieces are already made. You've already got Mark 17 molds made. Uh, how much you know? How much difficult would it be to crank out more of them to make the other pieces? Now granted, the the Mark 15 and the Mark 16, the uh, let's see, the, the Hammerhead, some of the other pieces that are unique, like the Starboost. You know, sure, maybe the Starboost hasn't had the greatest sales. It's a beautiful piece, but uh, um, make them, make them all. I'm all for making them all, and uh, don't listen to the hype of anybody telling you anything else. Anyhow, uh, this is my video of the Mark 35. It doesn't come with much accessories. It comes with the non-lit base. Um, it comes with the flight pose. The, uh, it's got the articulated claws. It's got the lights. Um, he's pretty sturdy. He's pretty cool in some of the areas where he, he does move. I like the, the way that when you bend him, the thigh comes down in the hydraulic joints show there. And it disappears in the back. I like that. I think it's cool. It's very clever that they did that. Good thinking. So, uh, what he is, he is. And what he isn't, he isn't. Almost can't be a more profound statement than that. So, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Tell me what your thoughts are on the Mark 35. Tell me what your thoughts are on whether Hot Toys need to continue making uh, the other armors. And I'll see you on your next video. Happy collecting!